So when you want to go into the flash grill drive or the flash grill program, you're going to open it up. And if you downloaded um, the, the earlier version, this is what it's going to look like. Um, you see these little arrows up here. This is how you get into it. So you want to uh, choose the paradigm chart. because That's going to be um, this one is for nouns, adjectives, pronouns, and there's a little bit of verb in there. Um, but there's another one that's, uh, well, I guess this one's the one for verb, the other one's just vocab. Anyway, um, you're going to want to hit paradigm chart because that is going to give you the um, all the spaces for all the forms. And then up here, you're going to hit that arrow again. And then you're going to choose which one. We have only done first, second, first feminine, second masculine, second neuter, um, but we haven't gone any farther than that yet. So I would stay away from third, um, third through fifth right now, and just kind of stick with first, second, um, masculine and feminine and neuter. Okay, so then you hit the arrow again. Um, this is for pronouns. Um, we haven't done pronouns yet, so you can go in there and you can try and drill them, but it's going to be, it might feel a little bit frustrating because you haven't, we haven't gone through those. Um, first, second would be what I would recommend that you practice for uh, adjectives. Again, there are some thirds and there are some regulars, but we haven't gone through those and I don't want you to get frustrated. Okay. And then this is, uh, this screen will give you your options uh, for your your noun cases, your singular, your plural, and then your gender. Um, so if you want to just do adjectives that are, if you need practice in adjectives that you only need practice in um, accusative, then you would just uncheck all of these. And if you want to do masculine, feminine, and neuter, you could. And you go next. Um, verb conjugations. Uh, we have done first, second, and third, um, only in the present system, though. We've only done active. We haven't, the only irregular one we've talked about so far has been sum essay. And then you can select the tense, present, imperfect, and future. That's going to be your per, uh, present system. We haven't done subjunctive yet. Um, we have done first, second, and third person, singular, and plural. Okay, so that's how you select everything and then you go next and then it'll give you the option to put those in and if you go back if you just wanted to do just wanted to work on nouns just click the paradigm chart click noun next and if i wanted to work on uh second declension neuter you can click more than one on here if i just wanted to work on second declension neuter and i wanted to work on all of them. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. So the word I have is win and winnie. So I would go in, put in all of my forms. and submit. There we go. There's that on the um, the version four flash drill on the version five. Pull that one up. Where's that one? Okay, the version five. So all of these in here are different textbooks. Um, uh, we don't really use one singular textbook. I kind of pull from a bunch of different ones. So if you just go into general, little work. Hit the arrow next. Which part of speech are you wanting to drill? This one doesn't have the uh, the option to select all of them at once. So you do individual. This time we'll go into verb. Um, what conjugation? We'll say second. Oh, this one has multiple though. Say second. Indicative active, 
We'll go present tense. I thought I did select them every present paradigm. Okay. So Miskeo. Oops. Miskeo. Cat. And you submit there. And then if you're ever having um, trouble and like you can fill out some of them, but you can't do the rest, you just hit fill, it will fill them in for you. You can look at them, study them, and then try again with another one. All right. So that is the flash uh, drill. Um, fourth and fifth um, versions. Oh, come on. Let me pull up the vocab. Here's the earlier vocab um, version. So you go in, it's just like the other one. You have to click these little arrows to continue. You can pick as many lists as you want and add it. Um, and then you can either go Latin to English or you can go English to Latin. Uh, 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 uh. So we'll go Latin to English, Nisi. Um, and you can go into the list and look at the list to see if there are ones that you would know. I would say the ones that are earlier on the list are ones that are higher frequency words that are easier that we have probably gone over. The ones you go further down the list are our lower frequency words and they're a little bit harder. Ones that we would not necessarily have gone over. Okay. If not. And then there's also um, a little hint section down here. So we'll go to the next one. And I'll show you that. So if you're like, hmm, I really don't know what it is. And you, uh, you can either hit fill and it'll give you that, or if you get so many wrong, it'll give you little hints right here. So like if we go to Keterug, and I don't know that this means the rest, if I was just like sum, it's like, no, okay, sit, others, after a while, it'll give me a hint down here. Okay, so that is the uh, fourth version of the vocab. And then I'll get the more recent version of the vocab drill up. Okay. So this one again, there are a whole lot of um, textbooks in there. I don't pull from one specific textbook. You can go with the list from those specific textbooks or you can just go with the general. Oh, general is one. So we'll, this time we'll go English to Latin and see what we've got. So away or from, you can do ob, away from, by, by means of, it can either be ob uh, or ob. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, if you still have problems with Centaur systems, let me know and I will help you figure out how to fix that.